Hello y'all, welcome back. In this tutorial, we want to start the coding of our main interface. So let's get started. The NetBeans ID is still on my desktop, so let me double click. Just wait a bit, it's going to load very soon. Okay, now let me just open my project, staff management, source packages, staff management, and let me locate the main interface. Okay, there you go. So now the first thing I want to code is the exit button or the exit menu item. Once a user clicks on this particular exit, it should ask the user, are you sure you want to close? If the user clicks yes, then this particular main interface should close. Otherwise, the main interface should remain the same on the desktop. What you are going to do is very simple. Come to user, exit, right click, event, action, action performed. It means anytime I click that particular exit menu item, the action that should be performed should be this code I want to write. So what you just do is very simple. There is a particular class called J option pin. J option pin dot show confirm confirm dialog. And you can see a list of different show confirm dialog. This is what we call overloaded method. I want to perform an action called show confirm dialog. So, overloaded method means methods that have the same name. These are all actions or methods that have the same name, but they have different parameter lists. You can see the bracket in front of them, they have different parameters that can, they can take. So this is what we call overloaded method. So I'll just pick the one I, I want to use. I want to use this one that has four parameters. Press enter. The first value here will be this. Second value will be, are you sure you want to close? Then the third value will be the message that will be on this particular dialog. That is confirm. Then the last one will be which kind of J option pin? J option pin dot yes no option. And this particular confirm dialog should return a parameter of a uh, integer integer so you have to initialize this we say int i equals this now the next thing we want to do is to confirm if if i is equals to j option pin dot yes option then it should close dot yes option what shall happen then system.exit means this particular application to exit the system. System.exit. Then you take parameter of zero. Then else, if I'm picking no, what should happen? Else. Return. It means don't close this particular interface. Return. We are true with that. Now the next thing we want to do is what of if you a user clicks the cancel button at the top right of this particular interface, then the same thing should also happen. The user should be asked, Are you sure you want to close? If the user says yes, then this particular interface should close. Otherwise, the interface should remain. So the same code is going to be applicable. 
we are going to copy and paste so let's go and copy the code and we'll paste it at the right place ctrl c so now how do we locate coding the cancel button at the right top hand side here so just make sure your form is highlighted you come to navigator you see the j frame you right click come to events window window closing event okay, let me do it again navigator j frame event window closing event you can see just come here and paste ctrl v then that should work very fine so let's run our application is our application the main project okay let's set the staff management as the main project so you say set as main project so let's run our application so let's first test that of exit okay let's test this are you sure you want to close no it closes okay let's test something again are you sure you want to close yes it also closes yeah the problem is we need to adjust some settings here we come to default close operation should be nothing so that i'll be the one to be controlling the operation of the closing event so you say do nothing here default close operation let's test our application again click on run are you sure you want to close no you can see it remains are you sure you want to close yes let's test the exit now okay the exit is not working so let's check the problem come to exit right click event action action performed okay it's supposed to be working what's the problem okay let's run again click on it okay it's supposed to be working so we're going to fix that later that's not a big problem i sure you want to close yes so we are through with that so in the next class we are going to continue with coding of our main interface thank you bye bye